Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5065426. Because of this error, that is your device is missing important security update. Now for this, start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, then click on restart. Now find Windows update in the list. Scroll down here. You can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Again, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Set it, set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start. Now click on OK again, make a right click and then click on restart. Now you can check still not working. Then pause and restart the update. So go to Windows update. Here you can see pause option, hit pause. And once it is paused now, resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to run the, these two commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box. And then make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will run a scan. The scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete over here, then copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, open this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5065426 over here. And then click on search. Now over here, type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WinVER. Check which version of Windows 11 you have. So it's version 24H2 in my case and check what kind of system you have. You can go to system and then go to about. And in my case, it's 64 bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. Now, if you have version 25H2, like Windows 11 version 25H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Then click on download. And then make click on KB5065426 and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file, follow the on screen instruction, and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to go to Windows settings, go to Windows update, advanced option over here, scroll down, click on recovery. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, you can check. Still not working. The last step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. Open this link. And then here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download now. And then you can run this exe file. Once you run this exe file, uh, you will see this screen. Click on accept over here and then by default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Now select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Click on save. Now let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on finish option. Let this close automatically and then you can go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Run a setup file. Make a double click. Click on yes to allow. Click on next over here. Click on accept over here. And here you can see ready to install by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, uh, here you can see keep personal files and app. Make sure this is checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, uh, you can try to install, update your Windows 11. And you should be able to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.